we're going to talk about this guy's comment and I've got five things I want to tell him. And I'm also going to tell him about what I would do if I was, you know, in his shoes going back to when I was 18, blah, 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 blah. Let's read the comment. Oh shit. Where the fuck is it? Okay. Where is my man's comment? Okay. As a first year college student studying CS, I'm seeking advice on how to effectively learn a programming language, blah, 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 blah. No tutorial, hell. My interests include data science, data analytics, business intelligence analysis, front end, back end. Will I need to compete with master's degree students in data science? If you are starting from scratch and aiming to stay ahead of your peers, what steps would you take? Apologies for the long message. I'm just worried all my projects and efforts might fall short and want to ensure I'm improving efficiently to succeed. And I do apologize you give him for that. Okay, dude, when I read this message, I was just, I was pissed off actually. And that's not to say anything bad about you, Aden. I'm happy you commented because it's giving me the idea to make the video, right? But I was pissed off because you just thrown in buzzwords. <laughs> like, uh, it's a question of buzzwords here. And so I've, I've, broke, I've broken this up into five, five key aspects. I want to break it down in these five ways. I hope you don't take any offense to this. I hope you drop your ego. You absorb the information because I'm here to help. And like, I don't know you, but you know what? You seem like you're in a bad place and I want to help you out. And I want to make sure that, you know, come out of this a little better than you came in. So prepare for some tough love, maybe. And I have a notebook. So let's, uh, let's get these notes out. Let's start in the middle of the question. You have too many motherfucking interests. Data science, data analytics, business intelligence analysis, both front end and back end development. Like you can't have all these interests. Why are you interested in business intelligence analysis at 18? Like are 18 year olds interested in this? I didn't know that. Like <laughs> that's crazy. I think you are just naming things. You don't understand any of it. And you just want to try and sound smart because you're scared. And that's okay. Because a lot of your comment revealed that you're scared. And that's fine. And that's why I'm here. So what I'm going to tell you now is these are too many things to think about. You need to pick one and spend six months on it and fail and fail again and fail a bit more and make one project. Cool. Maybe you do a project that touches on both of these, on two of these. So like if you were to build a web app that was like your own portfolio where you show dynamic blogs of like cool images and stuff. You'll work on front end, you work on back end, there'll be data, there'll be maybe a SQL database, all this other crap. That's cool. That'll teach you about this stuff. You don't need to know much more than that. You're not going to learn about distributed systems immediately until maybe your fourth year or third year. And you're not going to be actually building these unless you have an internship in it. You know, data science, data analytics, business intelligence analysis. These are all of the, <coughs> all of these are careers. You have five careers you're interested in. You can't do all five right now. You have to do one at a time, get good at each one. And then if you spend six months on each of them, that's two and a half years. And that's by the time you're in your third year or fourth year, you'll be done. If you're finishing your first year now, I don't know what your situation is. Yeah, man, you're interested in the entire tech department. What the fuck? The second thing I think, will I need to compete with master's degrees? You're worrying about the wrong thing. I don't know what the fuck is it. Your first year, you shouldn't be mar worrying about master's students. Okay. Third thing. The reason you're in tutorial hell is because you're scared. When you're scared, it's tough to be curious. And so you seek safety and you seek safety, safety through structure because that's what you're familiar with because everyone's been in the school system. That's okay. That's, that's how this works. The way you get around that is by using your curiosity. You need to have a question or an idea that you're, you're curious about, that you want to build, that you want to see, that you want to answer, that you want the answer to this. I want to see this made in the world, even if it's made poorly. And if you don't have curiosity, try and build something for someone else where they are relying on you to finish this so that you have that added social pressure. Because when you, it's, it's hard to do something for yourself, but it's, it's a little easier to do it for someone else. I think humans are kind of special in that way. So yeah, dude, you're in tutorial hell because you're worried and you seek safety through the tutorials. You're not actually learning. Programming is not a spectator sport. You got to take part. Cool. Let's talk about, you mentioned a few terms here that I want to rip apart. Effectively learn a programming language. Cool. The word effectively. And I'm improving efficiently to succeed. Okay. So this effectively and efficiently, fuck them, kill them, stab them. Okay. What you need to do right now is not worry about efficiency or, or effectively, or just go and do it, go and fail, fail in multiple ways. Take a day to solve a, to solve one question. It's okay. Because you don't have anything to optimize right now. 
in my opinion. You just need reps. And then once you have reps, then you can optimize. And what I, the way I call it is the maximize optimize cycle. Maximize what you want to do, then optimize what you want to do. So maximize the time you're spending on studying, then optimize that time. You, when, because when you optimize, you're cutting rid of shit, basically. And you have nothing to cut right now, man. And then you'll start worrying about, oh, am I effectively learning this? Am I just, just do it. But once you build momentum, you can worry about optimizing. Next, competition. Yeah, you know what? It's interesting because you compete with people for jobs, but these people are your friends and you need them to, you need to work with them to complete assignments and all these things. The way you get ahead of your peers, this is a secret, is by focusing on yourself. And it's a paradox of life. When you focus on yourself, you make incremental improvements and these incremental improvements stack up on each other until you start writing an exponential. If that doesn't make sense to you now, maybe read Atomic Habits. It's such a cheesy book, but it's good, especially if you're 18. Like it's good. I think when you focus on other people, winners focus on winning, losers focus on winners. Don't focus on other people. Go and just do shit. You can do shit. But then you can do shit. Don't focus. Don't spend your time focusing on other people. Like go and do shit. You will thank yourself. I regret not doing more shit when I was younger. It kills me. That's why I'm kind of being harsh now because like, don't make the same mistakes I did. Like go and do shit, dude. Don't worry about others. Fuck them. You don't need to stay ahead of your peers. It doesn't matter. Just be better than you were yesterday. You'll be running to places very soon. And lastly, what would I do if I was starting from scratch? Okay, I like this one because I would do things so differently. I would not try and hit a home run immediately. What you want to do is actually stack your bases and, and do internships that build skills and don't focus on money. Because when you do that, when you're younger, even if you don't get paid that much and it's fine and it doesn't have the prestige or whatever, as long as you learn the skills, you're stacking these bases. And once all four bases are stacked, then you can hit a home run. And then you, and you score five runs instead of just hitting one home run. Like my friend who wanted to be a quant, he actually worked at, a, at an insurance company as a software developer. It's not prestigious, but it doesn't matter because he learned the skills that the quant firm were like, oh my God, you're the only one with software engineering experience. We, va we value that so much. And now he's a quant making mad money, dude. Like some of these guys are crazy, man. I would understand, I would try and internalize the concept of failing upwards because when you fail, it doesn't mean you die. You fail, you got experience, and now you can do some other things. Cool. You built, you, you're failing upwards. Learn to fail upwards. Learn to accept that each failure, you're going for up and up and up. Keep trying things, keep failing. And you will take that experience, you learn, you get new skills, and you can take that onto your next idea or your next project or your next application. And then you'll be even better. Who cool. I would have learned to program way earlier. I learned to program in my final semester of my final year. So I'm a bit of a late bloomer compared to all these young guys starting now. But I'm, I'm, you know, I back myself, whatever. Oh, uh, well, sort of. I would learn things deeply and I would build projects that really interested me. And maybe not even projects. I would just build a project and I would just go deep with it and I would present the information and the findings in a much clearer way. I wish I had more time. I wish I implemented the papers. I wish I, like you have AI, man. Just go and use it to implement the papers. Oh my God. Use AI to learn. I would fucking love to use AI to learn. I wish I was in university with DeepSeek or ChatGPT or whatever. You're so lucky. You don't understand. You're so lucky. You're, in, you're living in one of the best times to be learning about all this stuff because it's so easy to learn about all this stuff. And you can just build. You might not even need a job. As long as you keep building and building and building and you keep putting stuff out there, putting stuff out there, putting stuff out there, maybe eventually you just get good enough at building where you don't need a job. And that's cool too. You know, whatever. All right, cool. Hey man, I hope that helped. I, yeah, I understand. I've been where you've been. I just think you're lost. You're a bit scared. You're confused. You got split focus. Go learn the fundamentals. Focus on yourself. Stop worrying. Stop spending your time worrying and go do the work. Get curious. Don't optimize. You'll just get anxious. Just spend time studying. Yeah. And keep trying. Don't give up. It's good. You, this is a cool world. And uh, I, I, I wish you the best. Peace.